Hello, I'm DJ Oliver and welcome to Detroit Performs. While meeting all the artists here at Detroit Performs, we've seen how art can not only be interesting and inspiring, but also can have a calming effect. And there's no better place to calm people than the medical world. Today, we're gonna do just that, show you art in the medical world. I'm standing here at Detroit Receiving Hospital to show you around its art gallery, which does its part to help beautify a building filled with the stressful rush of medicine and hopefully help calm its visitors. We'll get to more of what's inside later, but first up, Take a look at how these Detroit Medical Center doctors and med students turn their passion for music into a creative outlet for their busy lives. Music throughout the ages has been used as a way of galvanizing people's souls. We're kind of filling a niche that I didn't realize before, but it's probably a niche that needs to be filled. There's a community orchestra in Detroit that's not part of the symphony, and it's not part of the Youth Symphony. The Detroit Medical Orchestra is um, one of a few medical orchestras um, in the U.S. Um, that brings together medical professionals um, to be in a community orchestra. We're a group of physicians, medical students, uh, nurses, other medically related personnel that came together to do orchestral music. And it started several years ago when a medical student uh, who had previously studied in a music school was missing playing music. She was a performance major in undergrad, so she wanted to bring together like-minded people with the same kind of aspirations to form an organized uh, group of playing, you know, and so she had a friend who was a conductor and she kind of got it started. I think they started with maybe 20 people and that was a big deal. Um, and now it's grown into a huge thing. We have several people in the orchestra who didn't play for many years. And then when the orchestra formed, they pulled their instruments out of the closet and repaired them and brought them into tip-top shape and started playing again. And I think that's very rewarding for a lot of people. I came here for a graduate program to get a master's in basic medical sciences at Wayne State School of Medicine. And I'd always been in orchestras before, including in undergrad, and I missed it within the first couple of months of coming to school. I knew I had to do it again. So I started asking around if there was an orchestra and it happened that there was one formed within the last six months that I had arrived. So they got me in touch with the person who was in charge, which was Michelle Eubles, the founder. And then I started playing and I haven't stopped since. Playing the violin and being part of an orchestra, it's, it's always been a part of my life. So when this opportunity came up for, you know, an orchestra that caters to medical professionals, people involved in medicine. Um, it was just like a perfect fit for me to, to pick back um, or pick up my violin again um, and start playing again. Medicine is a, uh, a unique pursuit. It's, it's a wonderful career. I've been practicing now for about 30 years. But day in, day out, you, uh, it, it takes a bit of a toll and there has to be a well uh, where you obtain your compassion, where you nurture your soul. And music is a wonderful way of doing that. It's a great outlet. Um, after a long week of you know, seeing patients um, and, and thinking critically um, about medicine, and then to have that one rehearsal um, on Sunday evenings where you are thinking in a completely different way, um, I, I, it's just a great release for a lot of um, our members and they, they really value that. I'm not trying to retain anything while I'm in the orchestra. I'm not trying to memorize anything of, this is gonna, you know, I'll need to know this or else I won't be able to save somebody's life in the future. Sunday we get together and it's two and a half unadulterated hours of just playing music and kind of letting your mind wander off and just like be in a space that's not related to any of your day-to-day -day worries. I think um, music might be particularly, you know, fit for people pursuing medicine because it's it's a craft and you kind of have to work really hard at fine details. Doing surgery is a lot like playing a piece of classical music. It's choreographed and uh, you have to do um, delicate moves. You have to have good um, uh, motor coordination. And uh, it's a series of things that progresses in units of time from the start to the finish. And you have to sort of choreograph the surgery just like you play through a, a, a score of a symphony. We are playing the Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. And the Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, I think, is ideal for the city of Detroit. The city of Detroit is now having an incredibly difficult time. And 
Um, basically now, I think there, we might be seeing a renaissance. We decided to do the symphony because um, it's our fifth year of being um, the DMO. Um, and we just thought that we've come so far. Uh, we started from a 30 person orchestra, very small orchestra to um, over 70 people now. Um, and so we just wanted to celebrate that growth um, and really celebrate Detroit. We're joining with um, the United Voices of Detroit. Um, it's a community choir um, as well as the Detroit School of Arts um, Vision Ensemble. Uh, it's like male high school students from uh, here in the city. So it's very impressive that they're, you know, picking up the German and, and singing uh, this very challenging work. It's something that we're really proud to share with Detroit and to bring people who might not be familiar with classical music, in, you know, a, a good introduction into classical music. At each of our concerts, we decided that we weren't going to charge admission for the concert, but then we would ask the audience to make donations to a worthy cause. And for each of our concerts, we have raised money for several uh, organizations in and around Detroit that are usually related to uh, medicine in some way. We want this to remain accessible to everyone in Detroit and everyone in the, in the area because we think that one of our biggest messages is to bring the message of music promoting healing to all of Detroit. It's, it's really magical that so many people um, volunteer their time and effort and resources um, to make this possible. For other community orchestras, when they do Beethoven's Ninth, it's a huge event. Um, and the fact that we were able to do this, it's, it's pretty impressive. It's a way of feeling uh, bigger than yourself. Especially when you're participating in that final product, you have now created something larger than yourself. So it's an absolutely wonderful feeling. You can learn more about the Detroit Medical Orchestra as well as all the other artists featured here today by heading to DetroitReforms.org.